Hello everyone and welcome back to Joint Survival. Now today we're taking a look at the briefing room. We're just going to do a quick recap on what's going on. Why Sage rocks out to some metal and uh, Scott decides for a name for his ship. So recap of Scott, what we got to do or where we're going. So in basic explanation, what Scott tried to explain is, <laughs> is that the red water is not water. It's just stone like we found out last time. So we have to actually find the ice caps that that bluey colored ice uh, extracts it from there instead. Pretty much. There we yep. go. So it's a, a bit of a distance because we are. I think we are in the equator of this planet. We, we have a distance to go. So mm -hmm. yes, you, you do, Scott. You have a distance to go. Oh, and you, are you taking Sage's a... big mining ship with you as well? So we head out. I keep on thinking of making uh, taking Sage's when Sage is done taking his ship up north. Well, Sage can uh, take his own ship, can't he? How far is your ship off completion oh, yeah. now, Sage? Because it could be very useful to extract uh, materials. It's got the living area in it, but um. Mm -hmm. So you think what you're thinking? How many it. hours of at work, or what? You, what's your what's your finished completion thought of thought of time? The rest of this episode. Uh, or? a while. A while. Maybe. We can't. I think that's probably a good topic to actually bring up while we're building this. Um, a Kickstarter for Iran. A Kickstarter for Iran. Now, now that popped up on Kickstarter yeah, the other day, and Scott decides they... to support it. So, will you? <laughs> that is the question. I'm doing a review for a game that is developers are Iranian. And the and the, the, the half the funding goes to um, nuclear weapons. So there you go. In Adam's mind. That's not confirmed. <laughs> Uh, he's all, gonna get me on Scott is also somewhere. the leader of the Kickstarter for North Korea as well. Just just putting you out there in that one. Yep. Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> one lonely day aboard the spaceship of crashed landing. This. That was the worst intro ever. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty bad actually. Oh, I just went to see Deadpool. I went to see it as well. Hey. Yeah, yeah it's really good. That is a very good movie. Very good movie. Very enjoyable. So many awesome little hidden things in there, and everything he says is like a callback to his own career. Mm -hmm. And if you're under 15 children, wait till it comes out in DVD. Hey, hey, don't be giving that sort it's of information out. Reason. <laughs> Some guy's head comes off in the first 20 minutes, so. Oh god, I, his head coming off is not really bad. What I found was like, oh god, yeah, they're not pulling, they're not pulling the punches here. Was when the guy hits the sign and it just turns into like a bloody puddle. Yeah. <laughs> On the sign, like, oh, they're not pulling punches here. Yeah, it was a very good movie and very enjoyable. I like a bit uh, of gore though. A bit of gore makes it. Yeah. It's well, it, was great. it seems to have made some studios listen because the next Wolverine movie is going to be an R-rated. I just hope they don't. Well, a lot of people on Reddit have been a bit worried about it. It's, you know, people trying to like, just copy it without understanding why it did so well. Well, I think it's because it had three factors that were very commonly effective, wasn't it? It had romance, comedy, and very gruesome action. So it was... It was I, I honestly just, just think, think of everything. the thing that made it most effective is just how genuine it all felt. Because it, it, honestly, to me, it almost felt like I was watching a YouTube video as opposed to watching a movie. Oh, so it was yeah, like there the was third no, wall breaks. I don't think there was a single mm. thing in that movie that I actually looked nope. at and was like, oh, that's cheesy shit, or that's stupid. Like, everything I watched at it, I was just like, oh, this this feels like I'm watching this actor who suddenly turned into Deadpool being, well, what Deadpool is, which is apparently at this point, that actor and the way he acts and everything. So <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Like when he said, I bet you're wondering how they, how I managed to get my own movie. I was literally thinking, <laughs> this is just Deadpool saying this. This is... <laughs> Yeah, the laws. But again, that's how the de the Deadpool character was always breaking the f the what's it third wall, third wall, fourth, fourth wall? wall, fourth wall. I knew it was a wall of some sort. What is that? Uh, a fourth wall break inside a fourth wall break? Uh, oh, yeah, don't <laughs> don't okay, be doing spoilers, spoilers though, Sage. Avoid the spoilers. Avoid the spoilers. <sighs> okay. But it is we 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 should maybe do we'll talk spoilers maybe in a week or two. It's only been out well, a week. Mm, what I'll say, is my final comment, is I have never laughed as hard as I did at any other movies I did with that movie. It was I've only ever laughed that hard at YouTube videos. And the whole theater was laughing yeah, at Yeah, I well. never laughed at the I mean, cinema. Was... I never laughed, but seriously, that's like the first time I've laughed in a cinema. Like, seriously. I've given a little laugh here and there, but I mean, I was like covering my mouth laughing. Like, <laughs> and the whole theater was <laughs> right there with me. Yeah, that, that's what I liked about it. Everyone was laughing. Everyone at the cinema's laughing, you know. When you go to the cinema, you do have people that are just sitting there. Well, no. You get the fake laughers as well at cinema. 
God damn, they're fake laughers. It's not funny, mate. Why are you laughing? <laughs> you just do people chuckling at these moments that are not funny. Don't be chuckling. No, we're in a British Party cinema now. Miss something because sometimes, you know, something isn't funny unless you know something else. I also, I somehow liked, uh, like, there was only the two X-Men. And they weren't, like, the big X-Men. It wasn't, you know, Wolverine. It well, wasn't that. Cl Colossus and someone I can't even see her, her name. But your titanium penis and what was the other? What was the girl called? Stormy or something? <laughs> Super warhead. Something something something. It was, oh, it was a mouthful. It was a mouthful, <laughs> wasn't it? It, it? Are they actually X Men in any of the X Men movies? Because uh, I don't remember I know, seeing them. Well, I know Colossus is, but I don't know about uh, um, the other one. I but it's been a long time since I did it, read anything to do with X Men. Uh, in a long time since I watched the original cartoon. Scott, give me a good monologue, right? We've just, me and Sage just blasted off and left you here alone. Monologue me, bro. No, all I'd be doing if you'd flown, flown away and left me on this godforsaken bug infested planet would be a lot of swear words. It would be one of those sentences where the it's... majority of it would be beeps. <laughs> just like, Scott was the, like the, the, the commentator goes, Scott was left. He was all alone. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> we'll go back to see what you do. <laughs> Join next week. Boop, boop. When, when <laughs> Sage is Scott squaring. <laughs> Sorry. When Scott squaring at squaring. Scott's, uh, <laughs> Scott swearing picks up an alien radio communication. <laughs> you can keep fifth time trying to say that joke. It <laughs> five times give up. Sorry, no. I was laughing about it in my head. So it's struggling to come out. No! <laughs> What's No! <laughs> He's crashed. No! He's I'm crashed. I'm trying to fucking hide you in my ship's in the air. <laughs> you know, dude. You complete and up and down. So, you, so do, you need a, do you need some help, do you? I need a rescue mission. Did you, um, did someone... I need a rescue mission. Right, right. Let's say, do you want to mount up in my red ship and we'll go and rescue him with the correct yeah, sure. supplies? I need a rescue mission. The sticks are big. So, so how are you doing, Scott? Do you want to do you want to talk to us like I'm your emergency operator? I'm cold and alone. Okay, so I'm what? what feeling what, a bit dumb. I need you to go into your survival pack now and reach out your silver blanket. Okay. Okay, you need to get put your silver blanket on and remain calm. That's the important part there. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I'm an idiot. Right. Okay. So, so when we get there, don't you worry. We'll we'll get your ship sorted. We've called the AA. Um, we've got a repair truck. Uh, I, I me, I was making fun of someone yesterday on, on a forum about people being dumb enough to win the Darwin Award of stupidity. I should win it now. You know, you should have took a, a note from Sage's book and stuck a remote control block in there. Did I? Mm-hmm. You should well, have. I might have. Oh god, if we've come all the way out here and you're panicking in your shiny blanket. Uh, well, if he's got a remote control block. I have a remote okay. control block! Oh, what a noob! <laughs> then what? That's why I slowed down. What a noob. I forgot I had that. <laughs> what a proper felon. We set up on the ra That was like a. We're not coming out again though now if you realise it doesn't work or something. No, no, I have... Yeah, I was actually sitting here thinking, I might have a remote control I wanted my ship. Do I want to turn us around right now and just wait for them to figure that out? Ah. Or... I'm sick! I'm sick! <laughs> um, uh, how'd you spell pull, was, anyone? Was that intentional? <laughs> yeah, spell... <laughs> just to see how you felt back there. How'd you spell I mean, pull? Just, just I'm in first this. person, suddenly the whole ship's sideways. I'm like, are we about to crash? Just checking this pull, P-O-L-E. Yeah, yes, I did so. just add that Thank to the you. hood to be a badass and close it for you. No, we need to figure out if this is north or south. Oh, I'm a good do, landing, don't you? I'm going to do this from Wish inside. Wish I could wave my hands like gently, gently, gently. Oh. Perfect land, dude. Perfect. That's north, I believe. Scoot out. Well, we're gonna <gasps> I, I'm going to go a little cheesy. I'm going to fly straight up and try and see if this is. Yeah, I am at the pool. I am at the pool. It's yeah, like, the, like we have a lack of like social interaction, don't we? So to be honest, we we could move move to the moon, and, and nobody would even bother. The weather's probably better in the moon than it is in Glasgow. I don't know. I it's, worry about health issues on the moon. As yeah, cool you, as it is, the low gravity means your muscles and bones will decay. You quicker. would have to be on 
very strict keep fit regimen mm. and uh, Permanent yeah that probably doesn't agree agree with us does it be for yourself yeah. Mm. I uh I have I bought a uh I told you guys this the under the table bicycle thing. That oh I shit! To use. What's that? Is it any good? That would well keep me entertained for ages. It's decent. Um, because I always tap my just, foot. The angle's a bit silly at times where my knees want to bump the table, but I don't know it's all right. The biggest issue I honestly have is just that when I press on it, sometimes my chair slides backwards. So it's like, oh great. <laughs> I need to find a way to lock my chair in place. No, I don't also, its tension isn't quite as high as I'd like. Like, the first day I got it, it was like, oh god, this is... Okay, I can... Oh, it's difficult to move this thing, but then my leg muscles actually built up. And so now it's like, oh, this is nothing. Oh, no. And now to get an exercise, I have to pedal faster. Oh, no, <laughs> this isn't as enjoyable. No! My mother might be buying another one that's stronger, so I might trade her for that. <laughs> it sounds like an idea. I get my work, I do have that problem. With my job, I burn over a thousand calories a day, so. Wow. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I, I wish I was burning thousands of calories a day. Okay, I'm gonna build the. T I'm gonna build our defense satellite to kill these bugs. They need to die. Right. Too many of them. They're starting to get annoying. Why don't you put one of them little walkers in that I've built before with the little head on and set on a little walking path and it'll just walk around killing them. And those things blew up more than they did anything useful. Hmm. Debatability, sir. Debatability. The get them all. The get them all. Oh, you'll murder Bye. them all. Oh, that's surprisingly easy. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. Boss. I may have made the classic error mistake. No driver scopes? No, put the glass in the wrong way. No, yeah, that happens. Somebody was suggesting a holographic sort of thing, where well, when you're placing it, it actually yeah. shows an arrow that yeah, says, exactly. hey, sun goes this way or something like that. That would probably be wise for them to add. I'm back. Welcome back, Scott. God almighty. You were gone so long, you're starting to wonder if you died or something. No, no, I just had to quickly run to another room. I didn't, didn't need to hear anything. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, suffer! <laughs> oh, I've just lost everything. Boxy's down. Boxy is down. How did you crash Boxy? That Boxy, eh? Cheeky little shit he was. Oh my god, what? Don't tell me you shut off the inertial dampeners. No, Adam's ships just crashed as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. No, everyone's just... <laughs> I've literally just lost control. It's the same Scott, bug as right, happened. Scott, right, that's it. You're not, you're not, you're not having another ship. That that was your last. That was the last ship you drive of mine. All right. So, so I've come up to the crash site. Boxy's <laughs> on the, on his roof. Not very happy. Um, my oh, my ship's not that bad. It lost two thrusters. It lost two. Oh, that's an easy fix. You can fix that. The ladder seems to be all right too. All the doors are good. Um, I don't know what happened. It, it, when you, I know you don't watch my videos, but it's literally like the control just went nope. Right. So we get. Should we grab? Should I grab some thrusters to help you out then? Yeah, I'll bring the welding ship out here if you guys yeah, could. Yeah, bring um, the welding ship out here if you can. That would be a good idea. If you guys could take off in this for a second, just so it gets high enough up that way I can actually put the thrusters right, in. Hold on, give me a second. Oh, oh, oh. Boxy's still doing his job. Boxy, shoot it. All right, there we go. You so mock. You want to take this doing... off? Boxy. Uh, yeah, just take off. You're not gonna be able to get off the ground very much, but just rotate to your right, like hold E. A little bit more. Okay, hold the knee. Uh, can think... you get any more? I'm risking it here. an inch more. How are we doing? Okay, good. You're good. I Land. think Boxy's flaw was because I didn't have a top. Okay. Top, uh, Should down be good now. I'll go grab the welder. Top. Right, okay. Landed. I think I think that was Boxy's flaw was the lack of uh, thrust in the right direction. All directions. No doubt what, so he just got to an angle and then tilted over to his death. Yeah, I think so. Do you think, you think that was what killed Boxy? It's possible. It's also possible that if um, it was in the middle of a motion when you lost control, it might have carried on that mm. motion for a and second. Capped her on the ground, and then that was the end of it. No, I couldn't really see you, Aaron, but I could see your flashlight hitting the ground. Oh, that's one. I right, Sage, can you come around this okay, side? you want to hop in the cockpit? Yeah, yeah sure, hold on. Hop in. And up. then I'll cut the supports once you're in. In. Cut them supports. All right, cutting support. Right, Sage, that's ready to be welded. You want to take off? All right, leveling off. Yeah, we're okay, good. good. Uh, all right, coming around, Scott. Does Boxy want taking in, or is he all right? 
Uh, if Sage can just get these turrets, uh, 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 and just leave yeah. here the magnesiums here. Okay. Magnesium's okay. 300 and something odd. If you want to land that ship here, Anne, because the magnesium's here, then we do need that. Try not to hit me. Right, how do you know? Just land somewhere around where I am right now. What, near that I... boulder? Yeah, that's a magnesium boulder. Okay, coming in. Okay, I'm out of there, connector one. Oh, wait underneath, like, uh, antici anticipation. It's going to come out of one of them, I'm not sure okay. which one. Okay, I'll but, catch uh... it, I'll catch it, whichever one it comes out of. Okay, here it comes. Okay. I got it! Yes! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> that, that was quite enjoyable. Back to welding. Okay, let's try it real quick. Babe. Babe. Mega babe points. Yeah, I'm guiding this back, but I can't go to the camera to see what I'm doing. Can someone just tell me if that's heading in the right direction? Um, hold on, switching into spectator. Sorry, right. sorry, I lost. Uh... <laughs> I lost it. Never mind. It's gone. Have you lost it? <laughs> no, he just lost control. Oh Holy my shit. god, have you seen where it's going? <laughs> What's happening here, buddy? <laughs> you don't have control over that, do you? No! It's just going Wait. off into the distance. You better go and rescue it quickly. You numpty. It's, it's our thrusters stuck on full? <laughs> it's Scott! It seems that way. It seems that way, doesn't it? Well, you messed that one up, Scott. He's not coming back. Uh, not any I'm day not even soon. gaining on it, Scott. You're He's going go max speed, it. you know. You need to go what? in. You need to find you know, a... Oh, you know, it's going to hit that cliff before you, you get to it, just to let yeah. you know. We'll find that, though, if we ever explore. Oh, God, you know, it's heading towards the ice, the snow on the ice caps. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I find it in the North Pole. Just well, just I think you probably me. will. Um, yeah, there's, there's lots of ice caps up there. Thank you, Father. I disagree greatly, given just, what's just happened. To you don't Scott's test. Ship. You don't test anything. You always just launch it. That is that's like science 101. That. So really, what you're saying is, what happened to Scott's ship is the proper way of doing things. Mm, no, not necessarily. But, but you just said it is. You just no, build it, okay, it and okay, it. okay. Just build it and launch it. If you're a good spa uh, space engineer, it should work. There you go. If you're a bad space engineer, prepare to cry. Prepare to cry. A lot. Scott, do you have a response? No, no. I'm just going to fly his red ship in a second, so mm. I can deal with my anger that way. Well, fair <laughs> enough. When someone finds a box in a time capsule somewhere in a mountain, I'll, <laughs> I'll, re I'll remember not to return him to you. Take top box is gone. You will never find <laughs> yeah. You know, right, you say that, and he'll come over because he's orbited. In like 10 minutes time or something. If he gets stuck in a proper orbit, this is going to be ridiculous if he just comes by again. <laughs> and then it's the size of say to ship. Like, I'm back! <laughs> uh, you, you got rid of me, huh? Alright, let's have a look at what Sage is doing. I see you've put a roof on this thing. Yeah, it's the main structure's almost done. I just need to put a refinery or two in here. Very and, nice, um, very nice indeed. Yeah, and then we can start go. our journey to the North Pole. Will your, your, will your ship be able to lift this this part this this um ba little base thing? Do you reckon, Sage? The unfortunate truth is, I think my ship will be able to lift everything in the world. Okay. Given the testing we did at the end of the previous bit, where Scott was cutting off thrusters well, and it's still hovering with like four. Yeah, we 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 were cutting it down a little bit, see how much, and we were like, no. Well, if it can oh. lift, if it can lift this, um, doubled with the drill, well. The, this and the drilling platform, we should be able to set up our little outpost on the Arctic area pretty fast. Literally, we'll just—it'll be a plug and play. Plug me. Oh my! That is such a beautiful view. Watching Scott come in on the platform. It's gonna melt the platform. Oh no, you'll be fine. Have you got your landing gear on? Well, not about to touch down, but okay. We'll land it nice and smoothly, and you shall be fine. 